doing it. I'm doing it. <laughs> I think I'm doing it. Okay, starting. We are doing the guest bathroom renovation. So as you can see from behind me, we have a very blue bath and tile situation. So we are changing that. Um, I got the bathworks refinishing kit for the bathtub and we are gonna redo the whole bathtub. <sighs> so I have drip marks right here and right here. I literally, ch I literally checked, but when the product is settling, Those clips that you just saw are from a year ago. I did end up refinishing the bathtub, but as you can see, it's back to being blue. It didn't last. It did not last a year. So I stripped the tub and I brought the blue back. Do you wanna see how I did that? I have YouTube shorts showing you the process of stripping the tub. I'm gonna try again. So essentially, this is gonna be round two of me trying to resurface this bathtub. And we're using a whole different product. Also, I got this jumpsuit because I've been ruining all of my clothes and renovations are back on. And I can't be ruining any more of my clothes. So I got this jumpsuit from Amazon. I'll link it down below. I like it, it's pretty nice. And this is gonna be my uniform for home renovations. I also learned to start wearing foot protection. Whenever I do anything because it's really easy to just be in your house and step away for a few hours and do some work and not wear the proper protection. So I'm trying to learn. What I'm going to do right now is I'm going to prep the paint or sorry, the tub. I'm going to remove the caulking. I'm going to edge the tub and the tiles, give it a nice sand, clean it, put plastic over everything, cover the floor and get it ready for round two. This time, I'm gonna use marine paint. It's meant for boats. I've seen uh, some videos of it being done. And it looks pretty promising. If it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. We're gonna have to move on to something else. So, people were saying to keep the blue tub, but we renovated this bathroom around the tub, and we don't wanna like take everything out or leave the color. So I leave the color, I'm gonna change I'll have to change the wall color. And these tiles are damaged. The actual tiles, not the tub, but the tiles are damaged because when we were taking out the frame, some of the tiles broke. When we were taking out the baseboard, some of the tiles broke. So we repair them, but they're not blue, they're white. So we don't really have an option there. It's gonna be a lot of work. It's a lot of work to refinish a tub. It's gonna be great. I do YouTube shorts every day, Monday through Friday. You can't wait for the updates. They're on there Monday through Friday, but this is gonna be the full video from start to finish. I'm gonna be cutting in and out with the voiceover to explain a little bit of what I'm doing. I'm trying to keep a lot of these clips in in case you're looking to resurface your own bathtub and tiles. What I'm doing in this clip is taking out all of the caulking that I saved for last minute and so no water will get in between the cracks. And I covered the floor because we have white tile and it was already getting pretty dirty and I didn't want the grout to get super filthy so I covered that up with some paper. I gotta eat lunch but before I do that I'm gonna leave the etching solution on the tub and tile so it can do its work and then I'll come back rinse it off sand and then the tub will be prepped for the paint. This etching solution is the same one that I used last time. I did not use it on the bathtub. I did use it on the tiles. I think we're gonna give it another chance. That's all I have. I don't have anything else to edge the tiles, so we're just gonna, I'm gonna put a mask on, gloves, mix it, and paint everything on. Then I started etching the tub, which I'm glad that I started with the tub first because I ran out of product when I got done with the bathtub. I did put some on the tiles from the tub after it was done etching. I don't know if that did anything, but uh, I tried. I rinsed all of the etching solution, and this part is super important. I went in with a hair dryer and I dried all of the cracks because there's no caulking in there, and I don't want water to sit there and create mold. After that, I lightly sanded everything, the tub and the tiles. I rinsed rinsed everything off and I also did the hair dryer trick one more time to fully dry all of the cracks so we were ready for the next part. That was literally just enough for the tub. I'm out of breath from running up and down the stairs to get all of the supplies but we are prepped and ready to go. We're gonna prime it. This is the primer I decided to go with. It's the Rust-Oleum Primer for Metal because we have a 1970s tub and it was either the fiberglass primer or this one. 
So our Elvis said this is gonna be a better option for it. I'm gonna do the first coat of primer. I'm a little nervous to do this again. The Rostolium Marine Coating Topside Paint in semi-gloss. Dang, semi-gloss? Semi-gloss. I did not read that. All right, I guess we got semi-gloss. I wanted to get the glossy one, but I guess I got the, the semi-gloss. We're gonna go with it. I really don't want semi-gloss, I want gloss. Dang. Rust-Oleum Marine Coatings Anti-Slip Additive. So I can put this on the paint that will be on the, where you step on the tub. So it's not slippery. I got these foam rollers from Amazon. I'll link them down below. Everything that I use will be in my Amazon storefront under home improvement supplies and bathroom. Both of those folders will have everything that I'm using. It's all linked in the description box of this video. Then I just have a paint tray and uh, stirring sticks. And we did put a fan on the window so it can get all of the fumes that way out. I do need to remove the faucet and all of that, all of the finishings. Got everything prepped, taped off, plastic on the floor. I went ahead with some paper towels and acetone and wiped the surface down. I wiped everything down with a regular cloth and the very last step was a tack cloth to remove all of the dirt, all of the lint, all of the dog hair. I don't know how this looks to you, but this took a long time to roll on the primer. I was here for such a long time. I first did all of the edges and all of the corners with a sponge, and then I went in with a roller. The product didn't really dry too fast, but I always do it that way, so the roller blends in with the edges, if that makes any sense. Every layer I let dry for 24 hours. It's day 365 of this project. Feels like it's day 365. We're primed. I let it sit there for over 24 hours. Now it's time to sand everything down, tape everything off, and apply the marine paint. But yesterday, Elvis was telling me I really should spray paint the paint on because smoother finish, it would just look more professional. And I was like, uh, I don't want to go that route. But then after painting this with the roller, I realized how long it takes and then I'm gonna have to do it two more times. So. He said I can go to Harbor Freight or Freight buy a air compressor attachment that's like a spray gun for super cheap. And if it gets messed up, we could just toss it. And it was $15. So I got it yesterday. I got the attachment. So we're gonna spray paint the paint on. But now I have to like super prep everything, tape everything off. So for the overspray. So that's what we're gonna do today. Remind me to never do this again. If it peels, mark my words, we are just gonna rip everything off. And I did a very light sanding and I removed all of the dust with the tack cloth in between the coats. I would have used finer grit, but 500 was the finer that I had. So I just like lightly uh, put some pressure on that, you know? I was not going too rough, but that's all I had. Okay, I just taped everything up. It is crazy. Look at the side. I'm not trying to mess around with the overspray, so I went ahead and just to be safe, taped over absolutely everything. Even though this took a lot to tape everything off, it was still better than rolling all of the paint. And I know once I start spray painting, it's gonna go by so fast. So this prep work is gonna be worth it. I just know it. This is the attachment that I got for the air compressor. It was only $14.99 and it brings, it brings the paint cup and the spray gun with a cleaning brush. I'm gonna put the marine paint in here. Do the first coat. I'm a little scared of this. Elvis did tell me to do a practice run, so that's what I'm doing here. I'm so glad he told me that because I've never used a spray gun before and I needed to work out the kinks a little bit before actually going onto the tile. Now, the first round did take me a long time to spray. On the second and third coat, I got the hang of it, so it went by a lot quicker, but this time around, since it was my first time with the spray gun, I was going as slow as possible, being very careful, and obviously my technique was just not there yet because it was my first time, but it was night and day better than the roller because 
because the coats were going on a lot lighter very even no drips it was not as labor intensive because i wasn't like bending over and having to maneuver everything and dip the brush dip the roller it was i was so happy with this decision the first day took a lot longer too because i had to prep the plastic and tape everything off all right this is the first coat That's already been on there for over 24 hours. I need to find the charger to plug my phone. And I'm about to set up the spray gun. Hopefully we left it soaking in paint thinner and we try to clean it out really good that first time. So hopefully today there's no problems with it. We're doing good. It's the blue still showing through a little bit, but that's just because obviously this when you when I'm spraying, it's like a thinner layer than it would with the roller. I just inspected, there's like zero drips which that was my problem last time when i did the roller the product was dripping when it was settling and also this time we have the window closed but the fan with the air blowing out last time when i left the window open and the product drying particles blew in and got on the tub which created texture and the drips so texture and the drips so far we have a clean application the semi-gloss finish doesn't look too bad honestly but i'm gonna go ahead and give it a light sand clean it up real quick with the tack cloth and do round two of the spray painting i think i'm gonna have to do three rounds but at this point i want to just make sure it's done good and it's like foolproof so whatever i have to do we're gonna have patience this time and do it right again i am sanding the first coat down after doing the tack cloth again i'm gonna keep saying that because it's very important before you spray anything or paint any surface to really remove any hairs any lint any dirt so it does not get into the paint and dry like that i don't know i spaced out i don't know what happened but i left the sprayer on too long too close on this one spot of the tile it left some drips in this little area which i didn't notice until a little bit later so when i tried to fix it it was already like settling i was panicking about that but it is what it is i was gonna deal with it the next day because at this point i couldn't fix it it was already setting third and final coat third and final coat <sighs> thank god i can't wait to put this behind me it's looking good it's feeling good i feel really confident about this before i do the third coat i'm going to lightly sand one more time and there's two spots where um i did leave it like dripping they're like the tiniest spots that you can't even tell like i can tell because i'm the one that did it tack cloth everything get all of the debris out and do the third coat now the bathtub, I'm going to spray paint everything, spray paint the tub, but then the very center, the floor of the bathtub, I'm going to add this. It's an anti-slip additive and it's basically so you don't slip and fall in the bathtub. It's going to add some texture to the paint. I'm going to roll this on at like in a rectangle shape at the bottom of the tub. Final spray. Oh, let's get to work. I just clean the gun or like sprayed it off and made sure everything's good to go it goes by a lot faster once everything's set up and i learned my lesson this time around and i try to cover my hair because the overspray was getting all over my hair every time on my arm hair so i tried to cover up as much as possible it is what it is but we went ahead and did the third coat which was so much faster so smooth i already had the technique down i was comfortable using the gun so it was it was night and day better i'm done right, it's time to take out all of this plastic put the caulking on the hardware back on i'm done everything's done it's gonna be the best part because I get to clean up the mess. I had a slight problem with the non-skid additive. It's basically like sand. When I mixed it with the paint and I applied it to the bottom of the tub, it dried very harsh. It was like very, very rough. So I had to go in there and sand it, smooth it out. And I did two more coats of the marine paint on top of the bottom. 
the floor. So it's not super smooth. It's just like a little bit bumpy right now. So it prevents any like slipping. But if I can do it over again, I would not even do the non-skid additive. It's very sandy. And because I used the semi-gloss and not the gloss finish, it's not even slippery. It doesn't feel slippery or anything like that. So I would uh, not do that if I were to go back and not. So it's a little bit of texture on the bottom so it'll prevent slipping but it's not like it was a mess I had to sand it and do coats so I have let it cure now for a few days now I'm doing this and after I put everything back together I'm gonna let let it just sit there for like seven days to foolproof everything in hopes that it won't go nowhere this part was super satisfying because I knew that once I took all the plastic down, I was so close to the finish line. So I took the fan out, which the fan did do a good job filtering out all of the fumes, taking them out of the room, but it did leave the screen white. So I need to figure out how to like fix that because the screen got white because of all of the fumes that were filtering out through there. But that's okay. That's another problem for another day. I took all the trash out to put in the finishing touches to put the fixtures back on at the caulking and get everything cleaned after this. I cleaned the walls with soapy water. I deep cleaned the whole entire floor, the vanity, everything because it, it got really dusty and dirty while I was working in there. So I gave it a nice clean and man, that was so much work. That was so much work, guys. <laughs> All right, we are done. I decorated the bathroom for Christmas. So I wanted to show you real quick. Look how cute that's, that is, Christmas bathroom. But here, I also put dinosaur shower curtain. This is what the tub looks like. We've already been using it and it's looking promising, guys. I also had to repair the drywall on this spot and over here because the painter's tape peeled the drywall off. I don't know how that happened. It was a lot of work. It was a lot of work, but I'm happy with it. I'm happy with the results. But yeah, I'll definitely update you guys on how it holds up. And I do like the semi-gloss finish. It gives it like a nice sheen. It looks different. And I like it.